Hi, this is Deshay Witcher with Access Advertising, and today I'm going to show you how to set up goals inside Google Analytics. Goals is anything that you want to track efficiently, such as how many conversions you get on your website, how many people view a particular page, such as a contact us page, um, how many people fill out a form. So anything that is measurable for your company, um, you can track those things with goals inside of Google Analytics. And I'm going to show you how to set that up today. So first thing you're going to do, just go to your Google Analytics. Um, it may ask you to sign in, create an account, uh, whatever. Um, I previously showed you how to install Google Analytics, so just check my, one of my previous videos. Um, and today, we're just going to work with a particular account that we set up using Google Analytics. So um, we're going to go over here and find Hunting Hills, which is from our other video, and click All Website Data. And you're going to see the dashboard of their analytics. Now, in order to create a goal, first, you're going to, if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see conversions. And conversions is where you're going to see are your goals at. So conversions, goals, and overview, you're going to see all your goals. Now, if you don't have any goals set up, it's going to ask you, hey, you need to set up some goals in order for us to measure them. So if you click set up goals and scroll down a little bit and add new goal, it's going to give you some options on what to set up. Now, again, there's several different types of goals that you want to measure, and it's completely up to how your business um, is on the web on your website. So if you are uh, tracking, you know, how many people buy a product online, there's one for that. If you are tracking how many times somebody fills out a form, there's one for that. So you need to figure out which one you want to use just as a starting point um, because they allow you to create a custom one if you need to. For now, if you let's say you have a thank you page that you redirect people to after they fill out a form. So for that one, we're going to do the create account. So that's one of the successful sign up account or view created. So we're going to do that one and click continue. Now you can name it whatever you want to. We're just going to leave it as create account or sign up form or anything that you want. And then it's going to ask for your type. Now your type is how you measure um, the particular goal. So destination is whatever page they end up on. So they could start from your home page, fill out a form, and then land on a thank you page or whatever page you wanted to land on. That's going to be your destination. Duration is just calculating how long they stay on a specific page. So just if you if you're tracking how long, how many people stay on the website for two minutes or longer. That's you're gonna that's gonna be duration. Uh, pages screens per session, that just tracks how many pages a visitor views before they leave. So if you're tracking how many visitors viewed three pages before they left, that's pages and screens per session. And then event is anything you want a particular person to do on your website, such as play a video. Um, so for right now, we're going to do destination and we're just going to hit continue. And they really don't have a destination page on here, um, but we're just going to use a fake one for now. So let's say our destination page is thankyou.html. So all you have to do is write thank you and it, you have to get the URL correct. So let's just say ours has a dash in it. Um, you can do that as far as uh, thank-u.html. You can make it case sensitive if you need to. Um, if not, just leave it, just leave it unchecked. Um, you can do equals to, begins with, regular expression, all those things. I would usually focus on the equals to. 
uh, especially for thank you pages. If you need to add a value, like let's say you know how much a lead is worth um, to you, you can basically do cut this on and add a monetary value. So let's say every lead is worth $20 to you. You can just put $20. And again, all that does is help you track on other reporting, um, you know, as far as basically, you know, your goals. Um, if you basically, if they, if you want them to go through a separate, through a, a determined um, target, you can use your funnel. So if you, if they have to go to your homepage first, and then your contact us page, and then the form, then basically you can get, you can tell Google Analytics what type of funnel um, you want them to go through before they count it as a conversion. So if you have a particular marketing campaign um, and they have to go to a landing page first before they convert, then you can set that up here. Um, for now, we're not going to use a funnel because it's going to be a, just a normal, pay, a normal form and we may not have a value, so we'll just cut that off as well. Um, verify this goal. All this does is it takes back from the past seven days of data collected. And remember, you have to have seven days of data inside your Google Analytics for this to work. Um, it goes back and finds how many people landed on, the, on that particular page um, or how many people stayed on there for two minutes or longer or how many people viewed three pages before they left. So that's what it does. So verify this goal. It pretty much just tells you, hey, you've had this many goals in the past seven days. Um, and then all you have to do is hit save and you're done. Um, so you, but you can have up to 20 different goals. Um, you can get as custom as you want with your goals. But again, it really depends on how your website is being used on the online. So if you just have people filling out a form for, to contact you for more information, then you would use something different as opposed to if you want somebody to view a video um, or buy a product. So each one um, would be a separate type of conversion. And you know, for your products, you can put a, a, a certain amount that they purchase and use to track how much revenue um, a particular traffic source or a particular marketing campaign or even a particular age group has um, converted for you within a particular time. Um, but that is it. If you have any questions, you can contact us at visitaccess.com. We can help you set up goals for your business. Um, also, you can also uh, comment or add your question below the video. Um, but that is it for today. I um, hope you have a great day. Thank you.